And uh, we are joined over the phone by Ambassador uh, Wafaq Basim, former assistant for minister. Good afternoon, Mr. Ambas Mrs. Ambassador. Good afternoon. Uh, so uh, what is uh, the form of Egypt's participation in maintaining international uh, peace and security and the significance of honoring Egypt? Uh, I think if, if we need to honor a country uh, permanently, about its contributions in uh, peacekeeping, peace maintaining, uh, peace, post peace uh, operation or uh, um, uh, restoring peace, it should be Egypt. Egypt has been one of the very first founders, as you just said, of the uh, peacekeeping forces. Um, uh, to the United Nations. We have been there since the 60s, and uh, our first peacekeeping operation has been the one in Congo. Uh, and since that time, Egypt has been joining the forces of the UN, uh, which are um, constituted of... Uh, countries volunteering to send their uh, men, their military, their police forces, and now we have even more than, uh, than uh, the uh, militaries and the police forces because we have also those who establish the orders, we have uh, uh, nurses, we have experts in uh, dealing with refugees, with uh, women who have been um, victims of harassment or rape during the armed conflict. Uh, our contribution is uh, men, men, men and women. Of course, now we have many women and we are very proud to have them on board in the, peace, uh, in the peacekeeping operation. Uh, we send equipment, we send medical equipment, we send um, um, food uh, supplies, we send uh, other equipment that do permit to uh, um, rapidly uh, create camps or accommodations for the, for the displaced and those who have been suffering from uh, after a conflict and where their houses have been uh, demolished. Uh, Egypt uh, today is being uh, hailed, is being uh, um, appreciated, is being, uh, um, have, is having this uh, uh, um, admission and this uh, sort of gratitude on the part of the international community represented by the UN uh, to uh, commemorate all those who have worked on these peacekeeping missions, including the martyrs that we have lost in some of the operations. This comes uh, while celebrating the 75th year of the um, peace operation uh, of the uh, United Nations. So, uh, uh, Ambassador Wafa, how do you see future cooperation between the UN and Egypt in uh, the field of maintaining international peace and security, and what Egypt can offer more in the coming period? What can well, Egypt offer? It, yes. Well, we have gone now beyond uh, as Egypt in its contribution, we have gone beyond the simple participation um, on the ground uh, of our forces. Now we have created in Egypt the uh, Center for uh, Conflict uh, Resolution in Africa, which we call the Triple uh, CTA, and it is in the premises of the um, foreign ministry, though it has an independent status, 
it's the fruit of the cooperation between the UNDP, the government of Japan, and many other donors uh, that are uh, very much interested and committed to peace cooperation. This center um, now gives training course, does retreat, and um, um, uh, form uh, the new peacekeeper, uh, of peacekeeper uh, whether men or women, uh, according to the, to the new notions and the new needs of the post-conflict and during conflict uh, operations. This new, uh, that new peacekeeper needs not only to know how to use the arms or uh, to build a camp or to prevent uh, violence, but he needs and she needs to know a lot about uh, humanitarian law, about human rights in case of conflict, about protecting children in case of conflict and preventing the use of children in the field of, uh, in the armed field. Uh, it's also uh, training the, um, um, the indigenous people, those, uh, the, the citizens of the, of the city, of the um, states that are subject to conflict on how uh, to deal for rehabilitation after conflict, how to work on management, on uh, administration, on repatriation of displaced or refugees. So now we are training the trainers who are in their turn going to go back to their countries and train their own uh, people. <coughs> Yes, uh, Ambassador uh, Wafa, Egypt uh, is considered one of the founders of the international peacekeeping system since the first uh, United Nations peacekeeping uh, uh, mission. So uh, can you elaborate on this? Uh, we have just uh, uh, touched upon this when we said that um, this uh, uh, celebration of the 75th year of the um, peacekeeping operations of the United Nations uh, are a living token about the role of Egypt in maintaining peace and security uh, on the regional level, but also on the international level. We have been mainly uh, in uh, Africa uh, to uh, help and uh, to assist our African brothers yes. in a time of crisis and conflict. Yes. We have had more than 30,000 Egyptians on all these years since 1960 in Congo who have contributed uh, in the big uh, operations um, under the umbrella of the United Nations and the Blue Helmet. Yes. So uh, this is uh, this respect, paying the respect, paying the having a recognition of the door uh, of the role of Egypt uh, today and yesterday is a sort of a um, an extension of all the mm. sacrifices that has been given by yes. the yes, uh, like military, the police. And the yes, I'd like to thank you, Ambassador uh, Wafa uh, Basim, uh, former Assistant uh, Foreign Minister. Thank you, sir, for be uh, thank you, uh, Mrs. Ambassador, for being with us. Uh, show break, and we'll be back.